Hello everybody, XB Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we collected around half of the remaining moons in the um the Seaside Kingdom that we had yet to collect. And this time we're hopefully collecting the other half and going into the Snow Kingdom. Okay. So this is interesting. Okay, so we cannot hurt you, which is... I'm stupid. That's not what I did. Why did I not? Why didn't it let me, like, jump on Cappy? After, like, 800 failed attempts, I'm here. That took a while. Right near the Odyssey, there's this pipe that I never saw. Or either that, or I never bothered going into it. And it's another one of these places. A rumble on the seaside floor. In the alcove leading to the, um, the lighthouse, there's this. Like, right at the beginning. Can I volley the ball 15 times? I don't know. Let's play. So it can bounce a bit. Alright, we're almost at fit. Oh my god. Oh, so I can run to it. And I can jump at it too. But once it gets really fast, then that's probably not a good option. Let me guess, the high score for this is also 99999. <laughs> It's really snowing outside, like, a lot. Okay, so there's one. You can throw me to return it, okay. Yeah, considering that's on the left and there's another one, I'm assuming if you get either 50 or 100, you get another one. Either way, I know you get another one, so I'm gonna keep going until I get it. He's lucky, it always goes to him. If 
he had to move around, then he probably wouldn't make it so hard. Can you quit speeding it up, please? Proceeds to speed it up. Yep, speeds it up some more. Speeds it up some more. Oh, if you keep throwing it right at me, that'd be great. Probably aren't going to, but I mean... It's probably gonna stop speeding up at 50. No, no, you can die. I'm gonna take this. Never give up. <clears throat> my mouth is so dry and my hands are so wet. No, my controller is so wet. Screw any of the roving racer courses. <clears throat> Screw the jump ropes. Screw the sheep. Screw the darker side. Screw the watermelon and sunshine. That was horrendous. I timed myself. It took, oh, it took an hour and 15 minutes. That's right. I could make two and a half videos out of that. But I didn't give up. That was the hardest moon in this game so far. Alright, this one was a lot easier. We take a gushin up through the cave where you where the goombet is, and here's Captain Toad. <sighs> that was horrendous. I used to like volleyball, and then this game happened. <laughs> Over at the Glass Palace, there's one of those snail guys. I believe it was this one. Yep, he wanted to see someone land right on the beach. Your flight was truly an amazing sight to behold. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Lighthouse Leaper. Right near the area that started my depression, we have this, which I am assuming is, we need to line it up like that. Yes, we do. And there you go. Right on this island, there's the power moon. Taking notes, ocean surface dash. So here we have a, um, a scarecrow above a weird great thing, if I can hit it. There we go. Um, looks like, kind of like the area where we found, uh, where we fought, um, what's his name? Mr. Um, Ely Mouth in Sunshine. Never been- whoa! Speaking of eels... Again, speaking of eels... I was about to go pick up that coin to heal me, I don't know why I thought that would work. That was close. I don't know how that didn't hit me, really. Okay, there's the last one. All right. And the moon's at the very bottom. Dive down. Now we just head all the way up. So this dog is, um... Okay, that's just coins. Lead me to a moon dogger. 
You want to play fetch? There you go. Now lead me somewhere. Is this... No, that's not it. Go, dog. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Thank you. So down here, there is this. And luckily, there is this swim and uh, dive move, which I learned about just a bit ago, but never used, and of course that happens. No, not the cheap cheap. There we go. Seaside Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. In the hot spring aisle, or right near it, there is this. A gigantic red button and 8-bit 2. Okay, I see. Gotcha. So that's timer challenge one. Right up in front of the Odyssey, there's this moon right here. In the East Ocean Trench. Hang on. Okay. In the East Ocean Trench, just south of the flag, there is this place. Which house is a power move? Shh, it's a shortcut. Back near the Sphinx, there's this. And there's a moon, gap in the ocean trench. In the very, very northeast of the map, there is yet another hidden alcove. That really scared me, but luckily, it pushed me into this. That really frightened me. So under this island with the uh, Koopa Free running, there's this, which I'm hoping is a moon. Yup, and not a bunch of mini Goombas. Under a dangerous ceiling, and I see why it's called dangerous. I'm probably gonna get hit, yup. Within these, um, gigantic, or large amount, I should say, of rocky islands, there was a vibration. And with that vibration comes a power move. And a compliment from Cappy, which I couldn't see. So there are four mounds here, which look suspicious. Oh, no. So what, do I have to kill all of these, or is this just a waste of time? Oh, now the central, okay. There we go. Bubbly Northern Reaches. Yet another one of these red doors rests right beyond the uh, lighthouse island. Oh, it's like this thing that was at the uh, top of... I forget actually where it was. Oh yeah, it was on the top of the, um... Pyramid. Okay. So that's that. There's actually a, um... Cool little, um... Tunnel underneath of the... Glass Palace. And there was a treasure chest inside of it, which you couldn't even see because of all of these guys. 
stay away. There we go. So now you can have like a better look at the tunnel. Right where we, the dog helped us out. There. Okay, so. Top, left, right, bottom. Now, how long does it take for these things to respawn? Yes, we do, Cappy. Top, left, right, bottom. There we go. Treasure trap hidden in the inlet. Right near the last moon, there is a seed. Actually, it's over this way. Wow, our old ones are pretty big now. Oh, nope, not there, not there. There we go. Also, while we're here, we might as well uh, hit this one. If I can get high enough to actually hit it. There we go. Now we just have to... Hot Spring Seed. Okay, this one was surprisingly hard for me to find. I really don't know why, but it's up on this weird ledge that's just kind of on the edge of the beach. So let's take it over there. So there's that one. And can we, hang on. I wanna see something. Heck no, I am not doing that again. Come on, wasn't there just a gushing? Yeah, there you are. Hey, you're too scared to play now. Can I actually, like... Did that actually do anything? I don't know. The final seed is all the way over here. In the middle of the ocean trench, right near the Sphinx. Now we have to swim it all the way back. All of them are planted, and yes, these are our final moons, so... Okay, that actually does do something. So I'll be back when they all sprout because I really can't do anything else. So that does help a bit. So there's one of them. And yes, um, watering them with these guys does help. But I was doing it wrong. You don't want to use all the water at once. You want to do it in like small squirts. That helps a lot more. Here's the next one which isn't ready yet. And here are the last two moons in the Seaside Kingdom. Sea, Garden, sea Gardening Canyon Seed and Sea Gardening Inlet Seed. And now, we can head off to the Snow Kingdom and be gone of this volleyball-ridden place forever. <laughs> Except we still have two more. At 520 to 580, we got exactly 60. New products added to the shop. To the Snow Kingdom. which is now no longer in a blizzard state. And they're penguins. 
Let's hit the moon rock. Also, just look at how much this place has changed now that we can see everything. First of all, there's a door I didn't even see right there. And there's apparently a door right behind this moon rock. Five. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, like, why were there five there? But never mind. Okay, um, let's go in here. Or not. Oh, this is just a shortcut back here, okay. So, uh, well, first off, there's actually a moon right down there that I didn't even see, but this caught my attention really quick. Yep, here's a portrait. All the way back to Cascade. Just meant to skip the cuts in there. And all the way up here, Island in the Sky. I believe. Yeah, that's everything. So there's another kingdom 100 percent -ed. And I mean, like, actually 100 percent That was quick. I had to find some shelter, but I got buried in the snow. Luckily, I found a power moon in here. And now I'm just gonna give it away. Captain Toad is chilly. Let's go get this power moon in the middle of a frozen, like, lake. Not frozen, but it looks like it. Wait, why are these ones purple? Why are these purple? Okay, anyways, we got this. Ice flow swimming. Do these count as like completely different cheap cheeps? They do. Cheap cheap snow kingdom. We just have two, three. We have three that we have yet to uh, capture. We have a lack of two here. Fishing in a very cold pond. Dang it, I wanted to get the big one. Come here, fishy, fishy. Come to lack of two. Gotcha. And there we go, yet another one. There's a non-hidden moon right above there. Above the freezing fishing pond. There are a bunch of these moon shards around here, along with a bunny right here, who looks like it's gonna be a pain. There we go. No. Okay, gotcha. Caught hopping in the snow. Another moon shard right here. And we head up here. There's this. I don't know how I didn't see it. Shining on high. And... I don't know if you can lower the uh, flurries, so if I can manage to possess you from where I am. Come on. There we go. 
First off, we have a flurry or a moon shard right here. I want to recapture you. And I believe take you over this way. I forget where it was. No, it's over there. And push this block over. And there we have it, a door. There's a moon over there. Whoa, that's freezing. Thought that was ice for a second. Oh, great. Not mine. So we can only move in certain ways. We need to get this here. This here. Okay, this isn't all that bad. Hang on. Move it there. Here. And there. And voila. There we go. Not bad at all. I was thinking it was going to be a lot worse. Luckily it wasn't. Is everything in here. These icy platforms, there's one of these. And yep, they do sink. Here's a moon. It popped out of the ice. Now we take this, which we got from the uh, ice, which was all the way over there. Uh, we just do that, and then boom. Up, up, and away. And another one of these songs. some of these uh, flying flower things which are moving side to side we have to carefully time how we do this in order to get them all okay Spinning above the clouds. We got everything. Now I'm just gonna make actually never mind. Right here at the bottom of this we have a moon. Deep in the cold, cold water, except it's not all that deep. Except actually if I were measuring this like real life, it actually would be deep. And the last moon piece. Gives us a moon right up there. And here it is. Moon shards in the snow. So here's a P-switch, which of course means a uh, timer challenge. Which of course means almost failing, but not failing. Um, okay. So that bonitor up there wants to meet a fish. 
All right, we're fine. Mm, yes, round belly. The mouth has an intriguing shape. Natural cold sink. Got it. I do believe I have solved this freezing fishy mystery. I like how it's just like, oh, look, an animal that understands nothing. Let's give it something really expensive because it came to me. You have advanced the cause of knowledge. So I check the map. Koopa trace walking. Guess we're walking again. And it's on ice. It's on ice, of course. We are walking on ice. Everyone loves walking, right? Yeah, except not on ice. Nobody likes walking on ice. Yeah, arrow disappear after a bit. How good was that? Oh, that was pretty good. 93. That wasn't bad, actually. Okay, maybe walking on ice won't be as hard as I thought. Now we have to get 90 points, don't we? Yep, 90 points. a little worse. Exact, okay. Well, first try. <laughs> Even more walking on ice. Alrighty, guys, so that's gonna do it for today. We managed to collect the majority of the power moons in the Seaside Kingdom. Of course, I mean majority, because obviously there's the hint art and the um, other one, the hint art and the uh, place two there. And we collected quite a bit of the ones in the Snow Kingdom already, but there aren't that many to begin with. So next time on Super Mario Odyssey, we're going to finish off the Snow Kingdom and possibly head into the luncheon. See you guys then.